In 2022, I was a student at UNL working on my senior uh, capstone project. And during that time, I was inspired by my boss, Brian Monk, to work on a pollinator plant project on 13th Street. So that involves all the way from Lincoln Mall up to Q Street, just down the road there. And the part of the project that was the most important was focusing on establishing a place for pollinators to create habitat, as well as living areas to get nutrients for, you know, collecting for the hive and all sorts of things like that to increase pollinator activity downtown. So using plants such as asters, we have some false sunflower here behind me, some Nebraska native plants such as lead plant, uh, yarrow is something that can grow out west, it can also grow down here in downtown. A big challenge with the project was being able to use plants that can survive downtown because it truly is a concrete jungle here in downtown. Every part of the landscape is surrounded by concrete, road, and buildings. So being able to understand that part was a little bit difficult. So I created the project when I was in college as a senior. And then throughout my time here at, U at the Downtown Lincoln Association, I continued the project and then went out and got a grant through the Greener Towns project and they were able to supply us with the money to buy the plants. And then just this spring, we did the whole planting of the project. So Lincoln has been known for its advantage of having, you know, the university here in town to kind of promote some of these great projects. I think it's important to have plants like this downtown right along the roadside, because it shows that if you can do it here downtown, you can do it anywhere else in the world, especially at home. So I think what's special about it being here in Lincoln, of course, the capital of the state of Nebraska, um, is that it shows, you know, all the plants, we, we take them from all over the state, you know, you have yarrow, you know, lead plant that grows out west, and you can bring it here to the capital city and show that it can grow right here in downtown. So it gives you an example of what you can use at home to plant for pollinators. So behind me, we use this as an example. This is a bed that's been growing, established for about 10 years now from the original project. And the hope is to have most, most of the landscape beds on 13th Street look like this bed here behind me. Nice and full, plants hanging over the side, absolutely just filling up the bed, making it look like less of a landscape and more of something out of a dream. And you know, that's, it gives you an example of what you can do at home, as well as the, the, the idea of just putting pollinator plants here was to increase the pollinator activity in downtown Lincoln to give us a better chance at having good, clean, and beautiful flowers downtown. So during my time at UNL, when I was a senior, I decided to do my senior capstone project as the 13th Street Pollinator Project. And part of that, I went out and got a grant through the Greener Towns Project with the Statewide Arboretum of Nebraska. And they allowed us to be able to use the money to buy plants for this project. So my, that was my big emphasis. I did that while I was in college. Then I'm now almost uh, two years or a year out of college or so. And during that whole year, I've been working on this project, planning it, and then this spring we planted it. So. What that brings me to is our next project, which will be from Q Street all the way on 11th to 14th Street. And we hope to do something exactly like this, where we do a large replanting of pollinator plants.